There's no two ways about it. You kind of know the movie you're going to get when you start something called Wolf Cop. And surprisingly, this isn't the first time I've watched this movie. You know, it came out in 2014. It's crazy. It basically is what it said it is. It's all about this cop called Lou Garou, who is a complete waster. He's an alcoholic, he can't be bothered doing his job, he kind of shucks responsibility, and is probably very close to being fired at some point because of these attributes that he's quite happy um, not even to hide from anybody, it just kind of it is what it is, that's who he is. And he gets called out uh, on a case and gets attacked by something. Turns out it's an actual cult. Something strange is going on. He's got things carved into his chest and he starts to feel animalistic traits starting to take over him. It's a simple plot. This cop guy gets turned into a werewolf and that's pretty much the end of the movie. But there are some nice twists along the way. Things that you wouldn't expect to get in this movie. Like I said, the, the cult that appears in the movie. And you also have shapeshifters as well, which are, are part of the cult. And there seems to be this rivalry throughout history between the shapeshifters and werewolves. You know, the, the shapeshifters can use the blood of a werewolf for several things and um, basically they want to create one, drain the blood, and that'll keep them going for another few years before they need to do the same thing again. An interesting aspect to it. One of the things I really like about Wolf Cop is the blood and the guts and the gore just from the transformation itself. I've seen so many different kinds of transformations in werewolves and some of them have been truly fantastic, some of them have been pretty awful. This one here is rather brutal and that's what I kind of like about it because the werewolf literally bursts its way out of that person, bursting his skin open, it tears, it splinters. When they go in and find the place where the werewolf has changed uh, later on in the movie, they discover what looks like a human face is there because this is just part of that has just peeled away, um, which is a really nice aspect. There are some laugh out loud moments, some funny moments in this. There are some really nice secondary characters as well, like the guy that works with them. There is the most ridiculous sex scene that I have ever seen, full of saxophone music, candles, werewolf, just yeah. It's crazy, it's crazy funny and just ridiculous. But it embraces that kind of tone. It's not a movie that shies away from it or pretends to be anything grander than it actually is. It knows exactly what it wants to do. It's a genre movie. It's called Wolf Cop. It's going to just revel in that wackiness, strangeness. And it does particularly well. Like I said, this isn't the first time I've watched that. I've, I've went back to it a couple of times because I do generally enjoy it. I like the character of Lou. I like this kind of straight-faced nature about the, the, the film while having a little bit of tongue-in-cheek about certain aspects but still playing it pretty scary and uh, uh, certain things as well. Like I said, they go for it with the blood and the guts and the gore, the things you would hope they would spend some of the money on and pretty much you have here a movie that is short, quick, fun, entertaining and, and kind of delivers on everything that it promises to deliver. You know, you see the poster um, for this movie, Wolf Cop, here comes the fuzz. It says everything about this film that you need to know. I think it's pretty fun. If you can find it on a streaming service, I think it's well worth checking out at some point. And there is a sequel as well called Another Wolf Cop, if one movie just isn't enough for you.